Artificial intelligence being used in a number of ways, um, most directly in clinical care. It's being used to inform, uh, in the way that we use it at least, it's being used to inform clinicians about patients' risks that otherwise aren't recognized and also what the nature of those risks are. So it isn't just risk stratification, it goes on to identify what the reason is behind it. And then uh, the last insight that we provide with AI is to identify what interventions will work for those patients down to the patient level. And th those insights are data-driven based on this concept of big data. They're not based on an algorithm, and they're not based on just clinical science. Well, they absolutely do realize it. Uh, sometimes we, we work directly with physicians for them to understand. Often the, the, the users are not physicians. The users might be a case manager, or might be a nurse, and it might be a physician. Um, but in any case, the physicians need to understand enough to be on board because they dictate often what comes into a practice, especially in the ambulatory setting. So we look at data, we look at um, uh, uh, successes, um, we use evidence and uh, published literature, and uh, we're actively publishing now to, to reinforce that. Um, that wins over physicians uh, you know, when, because we're data-driven. And, uh, and then when they see it working in their own practice, it reinforces success begets success, if you will.